Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Air pollution and its control Water pollution and its control Solid wastes Agrochemicals and their effects Radioactive wastes Greenhouse effect and global warming Ozone depletion in the stratosphere Degradation by improper resource utilization and maintenance and deforestation. So what do you think are we going to talk about in environmental issues? Now we all know what do we mean by environment? What is environment? Environ. The word environ means around. So whatever we see around us that is environment. So that is why we call it environment. Environment. So this environ, this means around. So everything around us, the air, water, everything is part of the environment. Now what do we, how do we want our environment to be? We want a green planet as you can see on the screen. A green planet with clean air, air to breathe, clean water to drink, clean and fresh food to eat and that is how we can all stay healthy. So it is not only about the human beings but also about all the living organisms on this earth. So this is what everybody wants. But unfortunately, due to the presence of many undesirable components, we are facing a lot of issues in the environment. So we are finding that the air is not that clean, the water is not that clean. Again, the food which we are eating, they are contaminated with various undesirable substances. So in this lesson, we are going to focus on the undesirable components which are present in our environment and which are causing problems for our survival. And that is what we are going to discuss in environmental issues. So now the question is, what spoils the environment? I mean, what is it? What are those undesirable components which are actually turning the green planet into a blackish planet, into a planet which is full of dirt, dust and uh, undesirable things? So let us have a look at those undesirable components so that we can discuss about them in detail. Some of the undesirable component in our environment, the first and foremost is pollution. I am sure all of you have heard about pollution. In fact, you would have written multiple essays on pollution, what causes pollution, how pollution can be controlled. So obviously, this is going to be the first reason which contaminates our surroundings. Disposal of solid wastes. You would have seen that we often dispose a lot of wastes from our house. Every morning you will see that the dustbin in your house is almost full. And how is it full? Because we throw all the wastes into that dustbin. Now, where does that dustbin get disposed of? So that is an important question because it is not only you who is disposing their wastes in their dustbin, but everybody. So from everybody's home, there is one more dustbin coming out every day. But where are those dustbins being disposed? Because they contain things which are undesirable to us. Either you throw rotten food into that or you throw some waste paper, waste electronic material or plastics. So things like that are present in your dustbin. So it is very important to take care of the fact that the solid wastes are disposed of properly. But unfortunately that is not the case and that, that also in turn spoils the environment. So this is the second factor. Use of agrochemicals. Now, what are agrochemicals? Chemicals which are used in agriculture. Now, we have already studied in our previous lessons that due to the increasing population, what do we have to do? We have to adopt some techniques to increase the food production. And one such technique is use of chemicals like pesticides, insecticides, herbicides. So why do we use these chemicals? So that the, we can kill the insects or the pests or the weeds which might affect the crop growth or crop productivity. But at the same time, use of too much of chemicals in agriculture can result in polluting the water, it can pollute the soil. So that means again, it can have an adverse effect on the environment. So excessive use of agrochemicals is another factor that spoils the environment. 
Greenhouse effect. What is greenhouse effect? Interesting. So I'm sure you would have studied it in your junior classes, but still we will study it here as well. So greenhouse effect is one such effect or one such phenomenon where we see that some poisonous gases, the concentration of some gases which are not that useful to us, they increase. And when they increase, they have quite a few adverse effects on the overall existence of earth. So we will talk about greenhouse effect in detail a little later. Depletion of ozone layer. So what is this? Now, the way we have one protective layer of atmosphere, by now all of you know, right? What is atmosphere? It is nothing but a layer of air which protects, it acts as a blanket for earth. So in a very similar way, we also have a layer which consists of ozone. So this ozone layer also acts as a protective layer for us. Now it protects us from the harmful ultraviolet radiations coming from the sun. But unfortunately these days the ozone layer is getting depleted. So the ozone layer is vanishing off or it is thinning out. So as a result again we are having some adverse effects because it was, a, it was like a protection. So let you suppose if you are wearing a blanket for your protection when the weather is extremely cold and suddenly somebody comes and pulls off the blanket. So what will happen to you? You will lose your protection. So you might be harmed by that severe cold environment. So in a very similar way, so if the blanket of ozone here also starts depleting, so it will have adverse effect on earth. Deforestation. What is the meaning of deforestation? Forestation that means creation of forests or formation of forests. Deforestation is just the opposite, that means destruction of forests. So when we say forest, we basically try to mean trees. So cutting down of trees for your own benefits, that is something called as deforestation. Now when too many trees or too many plants are being cut down, again this has a very bad effect on the environment, that's because we all need plants also to survive. That's because if you just look at this, plants will utilize carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and it will give out oxygen. And the oxygen which plant gives out during photosynthesis, the same oxygen is being inhaled by the human beings, right? So the animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, whereas plants do just the opposite during photosynthesis. So that means plants can actually provide us oxygen which we need to breathe in. So animals and plants, they actually complement each other in terms of exchange of gases. So we just can, cannot cut them down just like that because if they are not there, then there might be a disbalance in terms of carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere. So that means deforestation also has a severe effect on the environment. So these are some of the factors which are spoiling the environment and which have proved themselves to be environmental issues today. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about each of this factor in detail. We will see how, I mean, how they affect the environment, how exactly can we control it, what causes each of these, like what causes pollution, what causes the disposal of solid waste is a problem. So we will look at their cause, we will look at their effects, we will look at their control. So that is the agenda of this lesson. So the first thing that we will talk about is pollution. So what is pollution? In simple words, it is the presence of undesirable substances in the environment which results in undesirable change in physical, chemical or biological characteristics of air, land, water or soil. Quite a big definition but if you actually understand it, it's pretty simple. So this definition is basically try to, trying to include everything associated with pollution. So whenever we see pollution, it is something which is absolutely undesirable. Nobody wants pollution. So whenever some undesirable substances are present in the environment, now what do we mean by environment? When I say environment, it means that any undesirable substance present in either air or water or land or soil. So in, in any of these, if any undesirable substance is present, so what will happen? It will bring some changes in that particular component. For example, if there are some undesirable chemicals present in the air, what will happen? The composition of the air will get changed. So therefore, 
we see that the air is polluted. In a very similar way, if I put some poisonous chemical in water, so do you think that the chemical composition of water remains the same? No, it gets changed and then what happens? Water gets polluted. So pollution is always presence of undesirable substance in the environment. So that is pollution. So whether you talk about air pollution, the first thing that will come to your mind is uh, the smoke coming out of the industries or the factories and you can actually feel that they are all polluted. The kind of black smoke which comes out of it which says that the smoke contains a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, a lot of undesirable substances within it. So that, that's how uh, air pollution is caused. Now, Emission from the factories or industries is not the only cause of air pollution. There are plenty of other causes behind it. So we will discuss about that. But this is just one instance where you can evidently see air pollution. Similarly, water pollution, sometimes you will see that some water is like some river water, they are extremely clean and you can actually feel it, you can actually see it. Whereas if you go to some river where uh, people throw unnecessary stuff into the river, for example, sometimes people uh, pass urine into the water, sometimes they will throw plastics, they will throw their waste materials, uh, rotten food, etc. into the water. What do you think will happen to the water? Will the water remain clean? Because a lot of the wastes which you, you are throwing into water, they might be water soluble as as well. So they will get dissolved in water and it will change the physical and chemical composition of water. As a result, the water becomes polluted and we say that this is water pollution. So this is how pollution takes place and pollution is extremely harmful. So pollution in any way has no positive effects. So these undesirable substances are known as pollutants because they are the cause of pollution. So these are pollutants. For example, just now I told you the example of water pollution. So all those waste products which were thrown into water, so they are termed as pollutants. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.